Hello everyone and welcome to another news coolum video and another plug side chat. Today I wanted to talk about what the public charging infrastructure, in particular DC fast charging providers, are charging for their rates and a way they might be able to set their fee structures up a little bit more fairly. Recently, some of the uh, chargers that I've been testing out have been the newer, higher powered chargers. Uh, also recently, EVgo has increased their prices for per minute charges. Uh, some of charge points, uh, newer installations are going online and they're charging a fairly high amount, a 10 cent per minute plus 25 cent per kilowatt hour fee. So a lot of these chargers now, especially the ones that are being used for travel, they're a little bit more expensive than I think some people would like to pay or prefer to pay. And a lot of it has to do with the chargers being capable of providing a lot more power than most of the current electric vehicles can charge at. What I wanted to suggest for some of these public charging providers is that maybe they consider setting up a fee schedule based on demand charges. Now, for those of you who don't know, the utilities will charge demand charges. They're different than actual usage fees where you're paying per unit of energy you use. Rather, with a demand charge, you're being asked to pay for how much capacity you're using. So a site that draws 50 kilowatts, well, depending on where it is, you might have to pay $5, $10 per kilowatt. And now that usually is assessed as a monthly fee. And for a lot of these public chargers, it represents the largest amount of money that they end up having to pay in terms of upkeep. But I think you could use that same concept of demand charges or demand fees to set up a more fair pricing model that accounts for the various different charging rates that you're going to see from a number of different vehicles from first generation EVs with slower DC fast charging all the way up to some of the newer electric vehicles that are going to be charging in excess of 200 or 300 kilowatts. What I would suggest is something say a 10 cent per minute fee which is the sort of baseline fee just to use the charger just to access it that seems like a very fair amount and then set up a demand fee, something along the lines of a quarter cent per kilowatt. So at that point, say you're charging at 40 kilowatts, well, it would be 10 cents a minute plus 10 cents per minute for the demand fee. And then that way an EV that's charging at 40 kilowatts would be paying about 20 cents per minute, as opposed to some of the current fees where they're paying 30 or 40 cents per minute. And likewise, though, if you scale it up now, say the vehicle in question is charging at 200 kilowatts, well, it's 10 cents a minute plus 50 cents a minute for that rate that they're charging at. So that way it sort of levels out the fee structure because right now what's happening is, say, a Bolt EV, even under its ideal charging rate, goes to an Electrify America station. At best, you're going to see about 11 cents per mile in terms of how much it's costing you to charge. And that's not a very good rate, right? That's almost double what a 50 mile per gallon internal combustion vehicle would be paying on $3 a gallon gasoline. Now, if an Audi e-tron that's charging at 150 kilowatts were to use that same Electrify America charger, it would be paying about four cents per mile. So despite being way less efficient than the Bolt EV, it would be paying a significantly lower rate than the Bolt EV would be doing. And in terms of a per mile basis, it would be a 30% cheaper price than a Prius would be paying on $3 a gallon gasoline. So while that would be great for Audi owners, it doesn't really reflect what you know, a smaller battery or slower charging EV owner would expect to pay for using those chargers. And given what a lot of these charging providers say is their mission in terms of promoting EV adoption and EV usage, I think these demand fee rates would facilitate that while still also preventing 
say, abuse of the Chargers in terms of people squatting and staying longer than they need to because their charge rates have dropped or whatever, and they're spending another hour charging the last 10 to 15% of their battery, well, they'll have to pay an increased fee to do that, which is going to incentivize them to leave and move on to the next charger. But also these demand fees would incentivize slower charging or smaller battery EVs to use these same charging sites while it's not going to disincentivize faster charging vehicles from using them as well. Let me know what you think. Do you think that a uh, demand charges would work in this way? Something like a 5, 10, 15 cent per minute base fee along with a demand fee that charges a fraction of a penny per kilowatt of overall usage. That way these companies can make sort of a transparent fee schedule that they don't have to adjust by region, that they don't have to account for. Say you're using like a EVgo 100 amp charger. Well, it's going to be baked into the fact that it's a slower charger, that your demand fee is going to be much lower, right? So if you're doing a quarter cent per kilowatt on a 40 kilowatt charger and you're paying 10 cents a minute, well, again, that means the max rate for those chargers is only ever going to be 20 cents a minute. Whereas if you pull up to the Baker EVgo charger that can charge at 300, 350 kilowatts, well, they're not going to have to adjust their price schedule per region. They're not going to have to adjust their price schedule per state or whatever, or per charger. It's just their set fee schedule and they can do a uniform fee schedule across all of their chargers, across all regions. In my opinion, it will make it a more transparent experience for EV owners. It'll make it a little bit easier to explain to other EV owners uh, what they can expect to pay. And it's not punitive for slower charging vehicles, and it's not overly beneficial for faster charging electric vehicles. Basically, everybody's still having to sort of pay their own way. It's, in my opinion, maybe the most fair way to assess a fee is to, to use a demand schedule in conjunction with some sort of a time-based fee schedule. Let me know what you think about this idea. Is this a more fair fee schedule? Do you think it's something that EVgo, ChargePoint, Electrify America, these other uh, charging providers should look into doing, setting up a demand fee rather than a straight per kilowatt hour or straight per time usage fee. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And thank you for watching.